Yo, forget it, man. It's too risky. There's other ways out there to make money. Stay positive. Something's going to fall in our lap. Yeah, well, I'm trying to get rich, you know, fast. I gotta gentlemen, may I interest you in a bootleg movie, please? How much you even selling these things for? 40 apiece. Forty dollars? You get that much money off DVDs? A well-dressed man such as yourself can surely afford such a price. Are you interested? Yo, yo, Booba, you got your camera on you? Of course, my boy. I keep it on me at all the time. My life a movie. We gonna do it ourselves. We don't need no bootlegger. Remember, gentlemen, everything in life comes with a cost. Everything. Ladies, DVDs. Four tickets to go flee. Hey, uh, um, sorry, that movie actually started 45 minutes ago. Yeah, my boy, we here now. Run it back. <laughs> no. That's what I thought, Chucky. Me and my men need some snacks, popcorn, and all that. Y yes, sir. Coming right up. Uh, hi everyone. Um, unfortunately due to some technical difficulties, we have to restart the movie. Sorry if this is an inconvenience to anyone. What, cause a couple, uh, well-dressed hotshots walk in the building, we gotta start the whole film over? Hm. Well, it's my father's 110th birthday this weekend. He might not make it to then, he might pass. He may pass. He may pass. Might pass? Look like he already done passed. Pop. Pop, pop. Come on, don't embarrass me, man. Take a sip of the soda, you need your shirt, bro. Go. Good. You fellas know how to dress, but you definitely don't know how to act. Is everyone okay with this? You don't mind restarting the whole movie for these guys? All right, Point Dexter, get the show started. Hey, that's a nice outfit you got on there, young man. My mother always told me you could tell a lot about a person by how they get dressed. Well, thanks, so, old man. You know I gotta stay flea. I'm assuming you're a runner. You know, this outfit reminds me a lot of uh, this guy I used to know who would run around the neighborhood wearing something just like this. What? Word. 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 One day, the kid just threw on his shoes, his pants, a hat as well, and he said, let me go for a run. He ran. He ran all across America, up the hills and down the mountains, up the side of the pyramids, everywhere, through the sand. He just had a good time with it and he kept going, regardless of the situation I had. It was raining, snowing, sleeting, hailing. It didn't matter, man. He just kept on going. He was young and he was passionate and he ran. So he just ran? Yes. What are we doing here? Filming bootleg DVD copies? We starting a business, man. Is that so? Well, how much for a copy? Because I might need to get one for uh, this old guy right here to watch some scenes over when we get home. Forty dollars. Four, zero. Forty dollars? Jeez, kid. All right. Now, everyone, let's quiet down because I, I paid good money for this copy. Even the news stations took notice. Sir, why are you running? Are you doing it for world peace? Sir, you're running for the environment? You're dressed impeccably, but why are you running? Then for some reason, people just started following him. All kinds of runners all around the world. And not only physically following him, but following him for how he dressed. They all dressed the same. Everyone loved his style. It seemed to just give them hope to see someone do something this crazy, but do it so gracefully and so stylishly. Some people say you gotta put the past behind you to move forward. Honestly, I think that's what running is all about. This fucking running is making me perspire. Oh, I see that, hold on. Wipe away your worries with this. Keep on running. 